But I'm probably going back to the hospital. Alright, let's do this again and actually not flub the very end of it, huh? I mean, I'll be better eventually. I, I like I like I said, I, I obviously sound better. Um, my voice isn't 100% back. It still feels weird, but I definitely feel a lot better than I have recently. But I still have like that overall feeling of dizziness. Um, and I still have fever, which is sapping away a lot of my energy. Though I did go. Uh, grocery shopping that didn't take all my energy away, which is what it normally does. So, it could be a sign of things getting better. And oh my god, my ammo again. Alright, I finally did that part right. Yay! Remember, I'm punching this guy. No, I guess I'm not, because that, that was fucked. That was still a really good uh, at point. Wow! 83 ammo. Holy oh, shit. And yet, this still isn't going to be better than the best time I've done, which is weird. But whatever. Still 20 seconds ahead of my PD, so... Jeez, the ammo. 92 ammo. This Friday is the max, but um, my supervisor at the Board of Education was like, there's a system in place for um, getting more than 20 days of sick leave in case you're really sick. Which, so, like, if it comes to it, we can discuss that. <coughs> but I'm hoping that I won't need it. I'm hoping I'll be able to go back to work on Monday. I'm not sure if that's just like how Japan treats all its employees or if it's just the JET program. Um, though I do know that several of my uh, co workers have been out for mental health leave for like months and they were able to keep their jobs and get paid and stuff. Ah, 
How did I ever get faster time than that? Take the pits there. I want to jump over you guys. Oh, well. Stay there. No, don't follow me. Good. Stay there. Bye. You jerks! You're gonna kill me. You're gonna kill me. No. I'm alive. Just barely. <laughs> well, I don't know if they have mental health leave necessarily, so much as I know that at least two of my coworkers have had mental health breakdowns and have um, gotten leave for it. Like, one of my teachers had a mental breakdown and was gone for an entire school year and managed to come back to a job. Um, and then one of them was out for a semester. And they just let her come back, though she um, transferred when she was done with the next semester. <coughs> yeah, there, there's some good things about Japan in terms of that kind of stuff, but there's also bad stuff. Like, I'm sure I'm gonna get hell for being out this long. Like, just because the, um, the leave exists doesn't mean that they're not gonna treat me weird for having taken it. But as far as legally, I'll still have a job. good and bad. Um, it's good in that a lot of kids get through it and they're really, really smart in certain areas, but they also don't, like, teach kids here to be critical thinkers, or at least, uh, to, like, think for themselves. Come on, kill me. Come on. I think the whole reason they have that part of that system is because they know that they have um, <laughs> people that work themselves to death here. Oops. And that if they didn't have that kind of thing, there would be people coming to work with deathly illness and dying and then probably the business or the government or someone being liable for it. Which is part of the reason why I think that I have such good sick leave. Because I feel like some American probably <coughs> really sick, felt pressure to come to work, and then 
uh, died or otherwise did something to injure themselves because they were sick and then probably sued the Japanese government for it. Need this ammo there, so I'm going. <coughs> hey, Josh. Uh, I don't know. Like, they have a problem with work related deaths in that people die from overwork here more than anywhere in the world, to the point where they actually have a, um, a word for it in Japanese, karoshi, literally death from overwork. Um, or death from too much work. But, um,. They don't seem to be doing much about it. Um, there's been several cases, and recently there was a case in the news where an NHK reporter, NHK being one of the uh, big major news companies in Japan, um, NHK reporter recently died from overwork because she was working something like 160 hours of overtime every month. And uh, recently, the government. <laughs> this is this is the government trying to do something about it. What they did was they um, made it law that you couldn't have over a certain amount of uh, overtime every month. And now um, a lot of employers are like making their uh, employees rigorously track their their work hours, but they're still somehow. Um, coming out to the point where they, you know, have a shit ton of overtime work all the time. Or I'm done. Maybe not. We're gonna die! Fuck, that was so close to being really good. <sighs> this boss is a jerk. Giant fucking jerk. The RNG on this guy is nuts. So I've left none, right? I want to kill myself real quick. Also, yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. But um, there's still this big, messed up work culture here that I I don't see changing anytime soon. It's one of the things I'm actually really afraid about for my future because I want to live here, but um, I'm afraid that they're gonna treat me the way that they treat every other Japanese person here, and I'm not the kind of person that will take that. Like, I'm going to be like, sorry, I have things to do with my life outside of work. I'm going home at 4.30 like I'm supposed to. Because it'll be like in your contract that you, you can go home at whatever time you have, but you'll just be looked down upon at your workplace for having done it. No, this was gonna be a decent run even though I fucked up. No, it's not gonna be. No, it's really not gonna be. I might not even make it to the top of the tower. I love Japan, there's a lot of things to like about here, but work culture is definitely not one of them. Alright, I have two lives, I'm just gonna instantly die, 
the fucking fire bug. Oh my god, I got it! Yeah! Sub-16! Not bad, not bad! Whew. 